Hi, I'm Liz from Creating Intentions and today I want to show you a really cool scrapbooking technique. How to paint and ink an embossed chipboard cover. So let's begin. To start with we have our chipboard cover. That um, This is a, a chipboard book cover from Prima. And I'm going to grab a scrap piece of paper in which to paint on. And the tools that I'm going to use today are, is the Tim Holtz uh, Ranger um, acrylic dauber, um, Tim Holtz distressed ink in brushed corduroy, and a stays on ink pad in timber brown. Now, to start with, we are going to um, paint the cover with acrylic, and I'm going to show you how to use this dauber because it can be a little tricky because there's a trap door inside. And so, how to activate and get the uh, paint to flow to the tip of this dauber is you take the bottle and you squeeze it and you press down on a firm surface and it just comes out. Otherwise, if I hadn't done that and you were just hitting it, it wouldn't flow. There's a door there that when you press down and you squeeze, it opens and the ink flows out. So now that the ink is tipped, we are going to start by just gently um, painting the cover and covering the cover with this paint. And, you know, because it's raised and the cover has some embossing, which is raised, you're not going to get ink in every corner, and that's totally okay because it gives it a sort of dimension by not covering the whole thing. So we don't need to be perfect here. We're just you know, giving it a basic little bit of color and you're going to see we're going to we're going to add more dimension with the other two inks here in a minute. And if you find that the paint flow isn't um, coming anymore, all you have to do is just press and squeeze and you'll pick up some more paint here. So you can see that I coated this cover with paint. And I didn't completely um, douse it in paint. It's not thick, it's just a gentle brushing. And not all the areas are covered, only because that's my signature style. And I like it when it's a little kind of shabby and um, vintage looking. And you'll see how we're gonna get that effect here in a moment. And what's really great about these um, acrylic paint daubers is that they dry so fast. So probably just a couple more seconds here and this will be dry. But in the meantime, I'm going to pick up my brushed corduroy um, distress ink. And what I'm going to do is um, brush this over the top of the entire cover. Now this gives it that look, that shabby vintage look that, um, that is so hot and popular today. And it's actually one of my signature styles. So um, all we're going to do is we're going to begin by just kind of going along the edges to create like a framed look. And I, I really focus on getting um, the edges. Somewhat saturated with the ink just to give it that framed look. And now after I'm done doing the edges, I'm actually going to take this pad and I'm just going to scrub it over the top and you'll see how that pattern just totally stood out by doing that. In fact, I don't need this paper. Look at that. This is just awesome. It's not so bright. It's got that little, uh, it looks vintage already. Now that could, that's good to go in and of itself, but I'm going to show you one more step. I'm taking a darker ink, which is the stays on ink. And if you're not familiar with the difference in inks, um, basically um, uh, this distressed ink um, is permanent, but it stays wet for a, a while and you can um, manipulate it. But the stays on ink is permanent and um, it doesn't, it never comes off. So um, that's why it's called stays on. So you want to be a little bit, um, careful or cautious with this ink here and the thing about embossed chipboard is that it acts kind of like a raised stamp so I'm going to apply this to just the top um, embossing here just to make it stand out and give it a little bit of contrast and character from the rest of the book and you'll see just by doing that it 
it totally makes the book and you don't really need to do all that much more to it except maybe put a title for your, co your, your cover. So just like I would apply this um, ink pad to a stamp, I'm just very gently rubbing the embossing on here as I would ink a stamp, very gently. And you can see how it just picks it up. And even if it gets on some of the other surfaces, that's okay because that's the look I'm going for anyway. I just like that messy, um, shabby look. And so there you go. And what I what I might even what I feel like doing right now is I feel like taking the stays on and actually going around the edges to make it a little bit more framed. So there we go. And that's how you get the contrast with the different ink pads. So thanks for stopping by and look forward for more tips from Creating Intentions. And feel free to visit, visit our website at creatingintentions.com.